Welcome back to the Token Trio Token Nation. My name is Lonzo. I'm George. I'm Ian. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All right. So today is a Q&A. Y'all ask some questions. We got some answers. Yeah, some answers. We do. Some answers. The ones we choose to answer. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Feel free to leave more questions because we are actually going to do this again. Because the first time we said we were going to do this, it's going to be a mukbang. Clearly, this is not a mukbang. Right. We ran out of time. Our apologies. But we still want to give y'all QA. and a Plus, we, truth be told, did not get that many questions. Right. Do we even have a full video, like a one like last time? So, we got a little more time. Yeah. But, in the meantime, we did promise a Q&A, so we're doing a Q&A. Yeah. So, leave us more questions. Questions only. Now, request for songs. Leave us questions for a new Q and A. It's five thousand of y'all. Thank you, by the way. It's five thousand of y'all. So maybe you should ask us some stuff. We would appreciate that. Okay. So anyway, let's start. All right. Uh, first question is: We're never answering this again. <laughs> How did you meet each other? You want to know my answer to that question, Alonzo? Because I'm not going to answer it now. You're going to go watch the video of how we met each other. That's what we're gonna do. George and Ian met in middle school, I met them in high school. Why okay. are we telling them? Go watch our video. We have a whole video talking about how we met, guys. We what a album, video. What albums are you looking forward to hearing? Um, From Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom? X, X, X. Love his show. Yes. <laughs> Love his show. Um, well, uh, Megatron's coming out. Uh, from Nick, who? Nicki Minaj. Mm. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Rick Ross got an album coming. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Um, someone's got an album coming. Uh, Chris Brown has an album coming. I think June 30th. I'm looking forward to that. So, with that being said, that's what I'm looking forward to currently. Who has an album dropping that I know of? What about you? Well, I keep hearing things about Rihanna making a new album. Oh, yeah. I heard about that, too. And I'm looking so forward I'm to looking that forward as well. To that. I guess it's supposed to be like more reggae. Oh, is from it? From what I heard. Yeah. Okay, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> well, I mean, that just was back it. to her culture. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I, it's just not going to be for me, though. It's going to be reggae. I, no, I don't, don't want to do that. Um, it's like that Snoop, that Snoop Lion stuff. Let's see. Snoop um, Lady Gaga is supposed to be coming out with a new album. Um, <clears throat> that's all I know of, really. That's all I got. Mm. What you got? Kendrick Lamar. Whenever that 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 happens, was um, Kendrick talking about dropping a new album? Last time I checked, he was retired. Kendrick Lamar, um, <laughs> Drake. Again, when that's when that's announced, they said looking forward to. It wasn't announced yet, so I ain't, obviously Drake and Drake dropping something, but he ain't said nothing yet. But I've I've seen a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of talk about he has new album this year coming out. I mean, I hope so. I just uh, ain't, I mean, it's kind of, it's, kind of, it's getting kind of late, and I ain't really heard none. I mean, remember last year he dropped in this month, so we ain't already heard a lot about it. So if he dropping now, it's probably gonna be later in the year. But uh, that's gonna be a surprise album. The Scorpion a year old already? Yes, bro. Scorpion, Scorpion dropped in June, like June tenth. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Okay. Well. All right. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I mean. Every honestly, a, a lot of the artists they talked about, I'm looking forward to their albums too. So, for sure, for sure. All right. Yeah. Is it ever weird talking to the camera, or does it come naturally to y'all? Are you ever camera shy? From Danny D. What's up, Danny? Usual. Go watch our video from yesterday. We talk about it. We watched our first video that we ever did on here. We mentioned it. We um, were not. Um, we we're pretty green. The first. Few yeah, I mean, and then I, it just became like. Yeah, I don't want to say bad in front of the camera, but it was kind of awkward. Yeah, we didn't really know what to do with a camera in our face. Like now, it's kind of like you're not there, right? <laughs> or you're mm -hmm. sitting right, like as if the camera isn't there. I mean, we do this every week. Now. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a normal thing. You just turn the camera on, we just go for what we know. But back then, no, it wasn't. It didn't just come like that. It takes yeah. a little time. George, George said it. Okay, so our next question is well. Kind of for me, it's from um, Amber Marie. What's up, Amber? What's going on? Um, kind of two parts here. Okay, so is there a moment in your life or a person that inspired you to get into filmmaking? And can you share a type, genre you would like to write, direct, film? Okay, so 
Uh, there was a singular person that inspired me to become a filmmaker. It was a, it was a, it was a movie called Scream. I saw it when I was very little. That is what got me into it. Uh, but the moment that made me actually like start doing it was uh, 20, late 2013. I was going through a whole bunch of stuff. I was sitting in a business lecture of at college and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Cause life is short and uh, yeah. I don't wanna waste time getting uh, a degree I knew at the end I wasn't gonna use, so. And let's see type of genre I would like to direct. I would love to direct a live action Disney Hercules film. I promise you I would direct the best one ever. I promise you. It would be amazing. It truly would be amazing. Cause I love Hercules. I can't direct Mulan. That's been done already. I would do an incredible Mulan as well. But um, yeah, I would, I would, I would kill Hercules. All right, so, oh, and Maddie. She asked, her question was, why? Here's the thing. This actually is kind of deep. Why? <laughs> why, why, right? Well, here's my answer to that. Because God said so. That's why. End, end of that. As vague of an answer. You get a vague answer for a vague question. And if you don't believe in that, you know, your higher power says so. And if you don't believe in that, the Big Bang Theory says so. And if you don't believe in that, the spaghetti monster says so. Oh, this noodly yeah. <laughs> If you don't believe in that, the scientific whatever says so. <laughs> Scientology. Okay, anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, what's something you've always wanted to do but haven't? Long hair. Can't, 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 can't read his own handwriting. That's the <laughs> bad handwriting. <laughs> it's chicken scratch. I was trying. <laughs> Can't read oh, your own stuff. Listen, I do more typing, okay? And they say people with bad handwriting are actually really smart. So anyway, you ain't got time to learn how to write, huh? Um, um skip kindergarten. What's something you always wanted to do, but cause I yelled off too smart. What's something you always wanted to do? Okay, um, I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Uh, something you? Yeah, something you always wanted to do. Always wanted to do, but, but you, but you haven't yet. Um. I mean, I'm going with like traveling to certain places, but I haven't yet. Nothing exciting, I guess. I always wanted to like try drag and like be in a drag show and perform. I think that would be fun. Hey, that is that is doable though. It is doable. We're gonna get in it. We're gonna get in. I mean, it didn't direction. say anything impossible. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. We need to we need to check check the stuff off off our bucket list. Life life, life short. Um, I always wanted to go to Hawaii. Um, that is like a dream vacation of mine. It's very, very, very expensive, but I wanted to go. Um, Hawaii and Bora Bora, those are like, I have to get there at some point in my life, so that's what I was gonna do. Um, what, what else we got? What channels do you watch? What kind of YouTube channels? I watch reaction channels, um, similar to what we do. Um, I watch. The funny thing is, I do not, I actually am all hip hop, guys. Like, you would not think that. I hope people who know me know that. People who been on the channel long enough know I, I'm, I'm a hip hop guy, but yeah, so I do a lot of hip hop reaction channels and a um, little bit of the vlogging stuff uh, like DDG and all of them. I, I dabble into that a little bit too, but mostly reactions. What, what, what about y'all? Um, I watch a lot of filmmaking based channels, of course. Uh, Patrick H. Williams, uh, Sarah DG, Casey Neistat. Mm -hmm. Film Riot, so on and so forth. So, um, I watch a lot of makeup channels uh, or makeup artists. Um, World of Wonder, which makes a lot of um, queer shit. So, dope. Nice. Um, Zodiac signs. I'm a Taurus. I don't know my rising and falling and the edges. Yeah, I don't get the to the side corner. I know my. Yeah, I don't, I don't get to all that, but he, you, you, you what? I'm a Taurus. I'm a Leo. I'm a Sagittarius. Cool. Taurus <laughs> <laughs> rising and a Cancer moon. Favorite place visited? Ah, oh, Park City, Utah, Sundance Film Festival 2019. Mm. Hands down. Okay. Hands down. Incredible. I, 
haven't really like been anywhere like super like incredible or like maybe LA. Oh god. Yeah. That's like the most interesting place I've been, but Yeah. LA? Yeah. Uh mine's would probably it'd be New York City. Uh, that's probably the best place I've been. Uh, close second is Vegas. If you ain't been to Vegas, man. Vegas is fun. Vegas, Ve Vegas is Vegas is crazy. Vegas, there's a lot, there's there's a lot going on. Like if you haven't been in that type of experience, it's uh, it's uh, it's, it's interesting. I, actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna lie. Up to this point, y'all may make fun of me, but Disney World. <laughs> It's like literally the happiest place on earth. Like that, they, they don't just have that mantra for no reason. Like it's literally like it's impossible to have, be in a bad mood at Disney World. Like I enjoy, I've been there like seven, eight times. Like I thoroughly enjoy that place. So I, I'll probably be number one on my list right now. So cool. Uh, plans for the channel uh, after uh, after reactions. reactions. Well, we're gonna have to discuss that in another video because uh, right. there's been some uh, changes um, made. And personal lives here, so we're gonna have to discuss that another time. Let's just say, uh, we uh, I really hope that the token trio continues in some shape or form going forward past reactions past this year. It will 100% continue past reactions, guys. Basically, it's gonna be a lot of our vlogging, we're still gonna do reactions, still gonna be a lot, but as you said, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, uh. Uh, as it's safe to say, a lot of it will be also on podcast form too going yes, forward. Right. Yes, so, yes. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's see. Worst restaurant. Oh, bruh. The worst restaurant I've ever ate at. Honestly, it's not even a particular restaurant. It's just uh, certain locations of fast food chains are not as good as other. For example, there's a Taco Bell right now that's literally like probably less than a couple miles from my house. Um, that's usually not as great as the one that's like eight miles down from my house, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I, I can't really recall a restaurant where I went and it was straight up horrible. Cause you usually get what you pay for. You know, you walk into a steak and shake, don't expect fucking guys. <laughs> Cause you're not paying for it. <laughs> so. That's true. Well, don't I don't know. Don't go to steak and shake like late at night. Man, we got one waiter. Don't ever go stay and shake late at night. I know they open all late. Don't 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 go. It's not it's really not worth your time. Um the worst place I've ever been to, it was a Coney Island in Detroit. Um look, listen look, listen guys. If you're not um, familiar with Coney Islands. Yeah, if you don't know what Coney Island is, they're little places that be typically open really late and they sell like Coney dogs. You know the Coney dog is American it's, food. It's hot dogs with chili on it. But the ones in the city of Detroit um, are not traditional Coney Islands. Um, they're Coney Islands that got all types of food. They got they got a little bit of everything, and then uh, stuff that they just made up. Well, um, typically those are the best places to eat. You know, places mm -hmm. in Detroit where you feel like uh, you might die are like typically the best places to eat. Yep. Well, this one was currently was not. Um, you know, there was roaches and. Typically, I don't care about the roach if the food is good, you know, but the food, the food was old, you know, the chicken bones was black, oh. and the stuff was cold. It was really probably the worst place I've ever been to, and was not surprised when I found out that they had closed down shop, because I know if the health inspector walked in there, man, because I saw at least 10 roaches before I walked out that door. I'm not gonna lie, so, so gross. no cap. <laughs> so, but um, typically, I am a very, 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 very big proponent of Detroit Coney Atlas, but that one was terrible. I don't think I've had too many bad experiences. There was one place, I don't even remember what it's called, but <clears throat> it was, we went for my mom's birthday and it said seat yourself. So, we're like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. You know, there's a bunch of people there, and they all sit down, and ten minutes go by, and no one looks at us or greets us. Uh, or gotta, gotta, gotta love that stuff. Does well, any band black? <laughs> right, they just walk past us and just side eye and mm -hmm. whatever. So we didn't even get serviced really, and then we just walked out. And yeah. my mom was like, "You people are very rude here." <laughs> I can see her doing that. 
My mom's not that kind of person, but I, I, was say, I, I could not see your mom doing that. That's, that's, that's funny. I can. That's funny. Okay, uh, travel outside of U.S. No, I've never outside the United States. Uh, yes, I've been to Canada, <laughs> and I've been to uh, Mexico. I haven't been anywhere. I've been to Mexico, okay. Mexico. Favorite shirt? I don't have a favorite shirt. I don't have a favorite shirt. No. When's the next one on Pilot's reaction? When we make a Patreon. So, soonish. Most embarrassing moment in public. Ooh. Um, it will, it will probably have to be at work. When I went to go get into a truck, we have a big truck. Oh. It's, a, no. it's an F-350, doesn't have, doesn't have a um, step step on it I want to get into the truck and um, my, my pants are kind of tight like the way that them pants were, 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 were set up they weren't the, the pants didn't fit very well so I went to get in uh, a lot of pressure got released very quickly and I didn't understand why until a draft came through and I understood I had ripped my pants from the ruta to the tuta, as the, as I'm black people like call SpongeBob. it. SpongeBob. Oh yeah, from the front all the way to the back, like as wide open as you can possibly get. So it's just a big gaping hole. I'm just looking at my underwear. So that was that was a great day. I had to wrap wrap myself up and walk all the way. And yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was a great time. Great time. So that was probably the most embarrassing moment um, I can think of. I mean, I can only think of like a bunch of times where I've like. I mean, it's always embarrassing when you fall in front of people. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that plenty of times, too. Um, I actually just recently fell off the Stairmaster at the gym. Ooh, yeah, that would be embarrassing. Because I was on, the, like, the cardio um, mm. setting. Yeah. You know, it keeps going faster. Mm. Then I couldn't keep up with it, and then I just felt, like, <laughs> tripped and, like, tried to, like, hang on to the, to, to the bar. And I, <laughs> I fell off. I was hoping nobody saw me, but... Yeah, they saw you, but it's okay. Yeah, they don't care. People, 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 people do that stuff all the time. Oh, what about you, Alonzo? What's the most embarrassing thing you ever did? Um, public? Uh, my first kiss. Uh, sixth grade. Uh, it was uh, last day before Christmas break, and um, I kissed her, and then I turned... I, when I... I kissed her, and I ran. And when I ran... <laughs> Smooth movement. I, like, I know. And I did not notice. <laughs> I did not notice oh, man. the the book bags um on the flow because we were at locker at, at mm. some lockers. This was at a uh, uh, Warbird Academy, Detroit, Michigan. Um, and uh, I tripped over the book bags, my shirt, and I was much, much believe it or not, I was much much bigger than I was now in sixth grade. I was like obtuse. And, and oh, <laughs> my man. shirt came up and everything was out and I was all on the ground and I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, it was weird. I, I was, and I was, and I was like, ah! and I was like screaming and I was, yeah, yeah. If anyone wants to see us make an animation of that, <laughs> right? That would be a funny yeah. animation. She got, got, got the flat all flattened out and everywhere and. And what Alonzo telling a story like in the background, <laughs> I'm just you know, him like walking you through that that exact story. Then that, and then the whole thing, you know, and I, it was really embarrassing. And and that'd be uh, a creative yeah. video. That'd be a lot of views. That'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, so good times. I remember that. Good times. Okay, uh, favorite flower. Uh, shameless plug here. So uh, my next feature film. <laughs> I was gonna say favorite flower. Shameless plug here. <laughs> My next feature film, it will end in tears. Uh, the lead character, Bella Donis, is named after a, a flower. Uh, is, that, is that your favorite flower? Sure. It will end in tears, 2021. Okay, favorite flower, George? I don't have one. Okay, Ian? <laughs> um, I really like um, hibiscus flowers. Um, mm. I also really like um, flowers that grow cactus. I think they're just really, really interesting. I really like cactus, like or cacti. 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 Plural. Um, so yeah. My uh -huh. uncle had a cactus in Detroit. He has a dirty ass back there. I don't know why he wanted a cactus back. There. <laughs> <laughs> Easy just, to take care of. I just thought about that. Well, he, he had one up. in Detroit. Yeah. In the hood. In the hood. He just had a cactus in oh, Detroit. Hey, all right, come look. Hey, look at this, Rodin. 
I'm like, what? What is this? He put a, he put a cactus in the back yeah. Like he cactus. planted it back there? Yes, dog. And <laughs> <laughs> my uncle, not, not, not the one you know. Um, yes, my uncle on, on oh, my now. father's side. Same name, but my uncle on my on, on my um, on my father's side. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he got a pint of pint of New Amsterdam in his hand, watering his uh cactus. Mm -hmm. That we play football in the back, and we'll always run into it. Yeah, that was fun. So, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I love, I just love black people. Um, with that being said, guys, thanks for getting us to 5,000 subscribers. We really appreciate it, guys. Road to 10K, guys. Road to 10K. Thank you for all the questions. We hope we got to most of them. We'll have all more. that we saw. Uh, we'll have more next week. So, the guys, so people, don't fret. If we didn't ask your question, we'll get to it next week. We promise. So, I'm George. I'm Liza. I'm Ian. And we'll see you guys next week, guys. We out. Money. Money.